Good morning, everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam. And in our today's session, we are going to learn about the OTBI parameter based report. So, what will happen we, when we provide the parameters in our OTBI report? So, firstly, we should know about what is parameter. So, parameter is nothing but it is a, a dynamic or runtime facility which uh, helps the user to select uh, the uh, appropriate uh, uh, parameters and on the basis of uh, parameters he or she will be able to get uh, uh, the output uh, for the report so what will happen in this one whenever we run this otbi parameter uh, parameter based report so one uh, pop up will uh, uh, before uh, will this will going to display before us and then where we have a list of parameters, when we select any one of them, then on the basis of the selection we have made under the parameter, we'll be able to see our reports output. So this is basically the uh, concept of uh, OTBI parameter-based uh, parameter reports. So let's see how do we uh, create this one. So this is the report which I have created using uh, uh, the parameter. So I'm going to open this one in order to show you how this parameterized report will look like. Open this one. So here you can see uh, we have one parameter over here which is select a uh, 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 select a set book and when we click on this drop down option so so many options are available over here so all these are basically the parameters and when uh, when we select any one of them then we will be able to see the result for that one when uh, i have selected us corp us corporation so as i have selected this parameter and when i click on ok so i will be able to see the result for uh, uh, that particular parameter which i have selected under the uh, parameter criteria so let's go ahead and create the same one So this is our catalog uh, window under BI server. And uh, this time what I have to do, I have to go to the create option and uh, go to the create analysis as I'm going to create the analysis. And this time I'm going, I'm going to use uh, another subject area, which is fixed assets transactions real time that comes under the finance. It will take a little bit time to open this window where we will be able to select the subject area or our respective subject. Area. So here the subject area window has opened. Select the appropriate subject area on which you want to create your report. And this time I'm going to select the the fixed asset transactions real time. I'm going to select this subject area in order to create my analysis and generate my report for as parameterized based report. And what uh, measures I'm going to select from this subject area, like uh, I'm going to expand the ledger dimension and under this ledger dimension, I'm going to select the Ledger name measure and uh, from asset book dimension, I am going to select the asset book and uh, asset number I am going to include in this one.
so where is the asset number we have to search for this one asset number search it So here is the asset number, select this one and double click on it so that it will going to display under the selected column area. And what next I'm going to include in this one, like And from this dimension, which is a transaction accounting details, this is our another dimension. And from this dimension, I am I have expanded this transaction accounting amount subfolder. And under this one, I am going to include the accounted amount debited fact measure and accounted amount credit fact measure and after uh, selecting all these measures and fact measures from the uh, from the appropriate dimensions or subfolders belonging to the subject area fixed asset transactions real time i am going to click on the results tab so that we will be able to see some results for this one And here we can see the result for this one. As uh, in the beginning of uh, accounted amount debit and credit uh, fact measure, we are we can see that uh, there are some blank uh, uh, records available. So what I will do over here, I am going to apply some filters on this one accounted and what filter I'm and which operator I'm going to select for uh, this one, I'm going to select is not null so that will be uh, will not be able to see the blank or null information. OK, click on the results tab to check out for this one. As this filter is a uh, properly working or not, so we can see that the null values are not uh, available over here. After going, after doing all these, I'm going to select this analysis. And this is my destination folder under shared custom and my analysis. I'm going to provide the appropriate name for this uh, OTBI report, which is fixed assets report this is the name for the report click on ok here we can see the report has been saved by this name fixed asset report now next i am going to uh, apply one filter on the ledger name also if we want okay click cancel this one and uh, now this time this is the time to implement the parameter for this report so what we have to do we have to just go to this prompt tab so this is basically the prompt window and here we need to provide the prompt for this one and when we click uh, on this add icon it will open the uh, uh, all the options that comes under this one so I'm going to select this one column prompt and on which column I'm going to apply my prompt. Uh, I'm going to apply on the asset book. 
and I'm going to custom this label by select asset book. So what will happen over here whenever we run this report, which is fixed assets report, one prompt will display before us and when we select the parameters under this prompt, we'll be able to see the report's result. Okay, so click on OK. Here you can see and the prompt has been implemented over here. And these are basically the parameters which we will be able to select while we run this particular report. So just click on this preview option, which is before new one so that we'll be able to get the preview of this one so the, uh, you can see when we run this report we will be able to see this parameter uh, this uh, prompt which is select asset book and when i click on this drop down option all the parameters belonging to this one will going to display before us and we have to select the, the parameter from here and we'll get our result close this one and after uh, providing the prompt again we have to save this one after doing all these things go back to the catalog option and uh, search for the desired report which we have just created which is this one fixed assets report open this one or run this one so you can see when uh, when uh, previously when we create any analysis and run our report we will be able to see our data but this time when we have uh, applied the prompt so what will happen when we run this report uh, one uh, prompt will display before us instead of the report's data or information uh, and uh, we have to select or click on this drop down option and then all the parameters will display before us and we have to select any of the parameter and i'm going to select this us corporation and after selecting the parameter i'm going to click on ok so that i'll be able to see the uh, data uh, for the asset book which is us corporation so this is basically the functionality of uh, parameterized based report uh, under otbi it uh, helps the user to select uh, the uh, appropriate parameter at runtime. This is basically the runtime or dynamic facility provided by Oracle under this OTBI reporting tool while we generate our OTBI report so that we will be able to select some parameters and on the basis of that particular selected parameter we will be able to get our result. So this is basically all about Oracle Cloud ERP OTBI parameterized based report and all about our today's session. If you have any question regarding this, please reach out to us at www.pisptrainings.com. Thank you, everyone.